my darlings to another video today i have a buying guide for you and this is my galan buying guide so this video is designed to help those of you choose a fragrance that is suitable for different occasions and i've broken this down into a few categories for you i'm going to start off talking about a signature scent a daytime, an evening, a summer and winter fragrance. So I have a collection here for you. And right at the end, I'm going to share my favorites from the house. The first category I have is your signature scent. Now a signature scent is a fragrance that should be the most versatile scent, a scent that you can wear every day. It's like your grab and go perfume. It works for you for every occasion. This note or fragrance is usually quite special and unique for you. So the first signature scent I have by Guerlain is this one here. This is my Mon Guerlain Floral and this perfume is the floral version of Mon Guerlain and I think this makes a really nice everyday signature scent. I think it's beautiful because we have a mixture of some florals, we have vanilla in here, we have some sandalwood and lavender. I chose this one and it was a bit close with the Mon Guerlain, but you're going to see where I'm going to rank Mon Guerlain. I thought Mon Guerlain Floral would be a nice signature scent. For me, this is almost like my favourite from the whole collection of Mon Guerlain. It is soft, it's vanilla, it's lavender, it's blended really well and once it dries down you pick up that floral, delicate but sweet floral vanilla notes from here. The notes we have are lavender, we have bergamot, we have mandarin orange and lemon. In the heart we do have some lily of the valley in here and we have some floral notes as well. It's very pretty. Mongolan floral is extremely feminine and beautiful and sweet but I think it's slightly toned down and a little bit more wearable than the original Mongolan Eau de Parfum. This one has a neroli, there's some peach in here, we have a little bit more fruitier notes in the opening which I think is more suitable to wear in the daytime as an everyday scent or as your signature scent, you can wear this in the office as well. So that's my Mon Guerlain Florals. The next category I have is your daytime scent. Now I've broken this down into two groups. The first category is your daytime but it is an event or you're hosting or you're doing something in the day and then this second category is your more casual relaxed everyday scent so the very first one i have is this one here and this is my chic Fatale. and this is a nice fragrance to wear in the daytime if you are hosting or if you're having or attending an event I love the Chypre style notes in here, there's rose, there's patchouli in here, it's really pretty and vibrant. In the opening of Chypre Fatale you do have some white peach and then you do have some pear. So this adds this fruity element to the Chypre style fragrance that we have. We have rose, we have patchouli in here. I love Chypre style fragrances, to me it's my most elegant fragrance I enjoy wearing in the daytime. I do tend to wear more Chypre style perfumes in the autumn. I think it's just a beautiful way to wear a floral perfume in the winter or the cooler seasons. This one here has this sweet peach and pear, but then it's intensified with the patchouli in the base mixed with the rose. And to me it's elegant, it's sophisticated. And I think this makes a great daytime scent. If you like fragrances like Gris Dior, then you should love this one. The second group I have for my daytime wear is your more casual, everyday grab and go. This is my Mongolan Eau de Toilette. It's a lighter version of Mongolan. It's a little bit more fresher, a little bit more wearable for the daytime. It's not so heavy on that vanilla note. It's just a more toned down version, but still powerful. This is still quite sweet, I would say. So if you like sweet gourmand notes, but you want it to be a little bit more wearable, less romantic and sensual, then I recommend this for your casual everyday perfume. So in the heart of this perfume, we do have the addition of a lang in here. We do have some orange blossom. We have jasmine in here as well. And then we do have some vanilla and caramel in the base. So it does add a little bit more of a sweeter touch to this. I do find for an EDT, it's not your typical EDT that smells watered down and very citrusy. We do have bergamot in here and some fruity notes, but this is still a sweet, light version of Mongolan. 
I really love it. I think this is a great EDT version. I recommend Mongolan as your daytime perfume if you like something that's a little bit sweet and fruity with that lavender in here as well. So it's got that calming effect. I think this is lovely for your daytime scent to wear casually. So that's my Mongolan or de Toilette. So the next category we have is evening scents and I've broken this down into two categories. The first category is for evenings out and for events and the second category is more of your sensual or romantic scents, more for date night. So let's start off with events. I am recommending Angelique Noir to wear as your evening scent if you are going to maybe a bar or an evening event or you're going out for cocktails. This is a beautiful floral but green floral vanilla scent. It's unique and bold, it radiates so nicely. It's very unique, very interesting. You have angelica seeds in here that adds this sort of green twist on your sweet warm vanilla, really pretty. You do have some pear notes in here as well. And to me, this is something that just smells so inviting. You're out with friends and you're having a good time and you're drinking cocktails and listening to music in the background maybe there's like a performance live in front of you and you're just wearing a beautiful outfit your finest shoes and you top it off with this this just adds a type of elegance and femininity to that whole silhouette and i just love it love love if you are a gourmand lover, you like vanillas, and you like vanillas that are unique, or you want to smell a little bit different, I do recommend Angelique Noir. This is Guerlain's most popular fragrance that everybody is so in love with, and you will see why. But I think some people may find this polarizing in the sense that you may detest that green sort of aromatic note to it. So give it a try. If you like vanillas, I think it's worth trying out. See how it works for you, try it on the card, but most definitely to get the true performance, try this on your skin and give it some time to dry down. This to me is just so beautiful and it's one of my fragrances I usually grab when I'm heading out for an event. So that's my Angelique Noir. The second fragrance I have for your evening out would be my Black Perfecto. And this again is a fragrance I'll be wearing going out with the girls and you're out for drinks or you're in a beautiful lounge. And um, this is something I would wear. It's a little bit more mysterious and dark and a little bit unique. You have a blend of rose in here with the leathery notes. It's really lovely. Very different. Black Perfecto has some tea notes. We have that almond cherry note. So it's sweet, a bit nutty with the rose in the heart as well. It makes it feminine. It's really edgy and different. I do love it for that. You could be dining in Shoreditch or in Camden. It's that sort of edgy leather and lipstick mixed together. That's what I get. That's the vibe I get from this. In the base, we do have leather and tonka in here with some black musk. And I think that adds this sort of unique but mysterious element to this fragrance. That's my Black Perfecto. Still within my evening category, these are my fragrances I'm recommending for date night. So these are perfumes that are they probably radiate quite close to the skin. They're not too overwhelming or too strong and potent. They are cuddling scents. They are sweet, a bit more of the gourmand side. So these are fragrances that I recommend for date nights or a cozy night in. Um, they're quite romantic and sensual. So the very first perfume has to be this one. It's my top pick actually for date night. My top pick for date night is my Nuit d'Amour. I absolutely love this perfume <laughs> um, and even just by looking at it it just looks really feminine and elegant and I just I just love the atomizer here so when you are getting ready you're heading out you're all dressed it's just extremely feminine and elegant I just love this beautiful bottle this perfume is powdery and sweet and soft we have notes of rose musk, violet sandalwood, lychee iris and pink pepper. For me, I received that creamy sandalwood, rose, violet and the lychee in here. This is so romantic guys, it's just such a beautiful scent to wear I think. It's rose, it's lychee, 
It's elegant. It's so pretty. So that's my Nuit de Mort. Now guys, this perfume I have is for my gourmand lovers, okay? This is my sensual but sweet sugary and chocolatey fragrance by Guerlain. This is my gourmand coquine and this is your dark chocolate cacao rose. It's beautiful. There's some rummy notes in here as well. Vanilla, like this double dose of vanilla. It's so gorgeous, guys. And Gamond Coquine is almost edible and inviting. You just smell so smooth and soft and you smell like a chocolate cake. It's really pretty. In the base, we have vanilla. We have some black tea in here and some pink pepper. I receive rose rum and chocolate. It's like this true chocolatey, sugary vibe. I don't know, it's so nice, it's powdery, inviting, almost cocooning as well. I just love this perfume, it's lovely. Um, so if you are a gourmand lover, I'm recommending Gourmand Coquine. If you adore chocolate, creamy chocolates with some rose and rum, oh my goodness guys, this is a scent I just love to wear in the evenings. If I'm not wearing this for date night, then this is something I would just wear to sleep in. It's like sleeping on a bed of chocolate and roses. I do love it. So that's my gourmand coquine. Up next, I have my next category, which is my spring and summer fragrance. So I have selected one fragrance that I think is my top perfume to wear during the summer months. And this is my Pera Granita. This is by the Aqua Allegoria range. This is your cologne. It's like a lighter version of an EDT. So this is going to add a little bit of freshness and brightness to your day. You don't want anything too heavy in the summer. This is floral with notes of pear. It's citrusy, very pretty. Um, but this is something I can spritz on throughout the whole day. We have bergamot, pear and osmanthus, giving this whole combination together as like a peachy pear citrus twist to it. I find this fizzy. A little bit tangy. I find this to be uplifting and a bit playful as well. I love wearing this either on vacation, in the day. Peri Granita has this crisp pear note. It's almost a little bit aquatic, a little bit watery, fruity. Oh, it smells lovely. It's like you've got a bowl of berries or a bowl of fruits and it's got that water just surrounding the fruits. That's what I get from this, like a watery quality about it but it's really beautiful. It's like one of my favorites from the Aqua Allegoria range. So that's my Peregrinita for the summer. I have Le Petit Rose Noir, and this is my top pick for the winter and autumn. This is your sour cherry, it's almond, it's sweet. It does have this watery quality about it as well, which I do like. It's not too strong of a cherry. Sometimes when the cherry is quite potent, it comes across extremely sour or bitter. But this one I find is a sweet cherry with a little bit of an aquatic vibe about it. I like to wear this either in the daytime or the evenings during the cooler months, but I tend to pick this up for the evenings. This is sweetened with vanilla and tonka in here. There is some licorice notes in this perfume as well. Really beautiful. We do have rose, iris, patchouli in here. There is the addition of tea in this perfume as well. And I do prefer to wear this in the fall. There's something cozy about that whole cherry note that just reminds me of the fall and winter. So that's my Le Petit Robe Noir or de Parfum. And lastly, my final category is fragrances that to me exude femininity or masculinity. Now, femininity is something that I just love. I, I adore all things feminine and I think I'm always drawn to perfumes that are a little bit more on the feminine side. So out of my whole collection, this is my number one pick, my top pick for femininity, and it's this one here. <laughs> I have Mon Guerlain or the Parfum. Oh my goodness, guys. Now, you know on this channel, I am all about femininity, fragrances, style, and tea. In today's video, I've mentioned about three Mongolan fragrances, and to me, this one is most feminine. You can wear this as your signature scent. You can wear this in the daytime, but for me, this is highly reserved for an evening wear. This is romantic. This is an occasion wear. 
I love this perfume and that lavender note in here adds this whole calming effect and to be honest sometimes I do wear this in the evenings after I've had my evening shower and I'm preparing to either settle down with a cup of tea or just to watch something on TV or to read I would actually put a few spritz of this fragrance on just to help relax and soothe me because I find this extremely soothing and relaxing with the sandalwood in the base and the lavender. So that's my Mon Gourla. Now, the next fragrance I have is my most masculine perfume and it's this one here. It is my Tonka Imperial. I absolutely love this perfume and I remember when I first tried this fragrance I fell in love with it to me it's a unisex scent you know when I first smell it but I appreciate this perfume on a man I wear this fragrance without a doubt I can wear this easily but from my whole collection it's Tonka Imperial that I think I enjoy a guy to wear the most. It's that creamy Tonka bean and almond note, but I think with the addition of tobacco, it just adds this like kick. It just adds this masculine touch to it. We do have frankincense, cedarwood, pinewood. We have a bit of jasmine and rosemary in this fragrance. And I think it's definitely that cedarwood, frankincense and tobacco note in here that adds that masculine touch to it. So that brings me to the end of my buying guide but to close my buying guide I wanted to end this video with sharing my top three perfumes from Guerlain. My number one favourite would have to be Angelique Noir, my Le Petit Robe Noir Intense. This has to be one of my most worn fragrances from the collection. It's one of my favourites. It's that candy floss or cotton candy note. It's sugary, it's sweet, it's blueberry. I love it. It's playful. It's like a happy scent. So I love this one. And my next one is my Mongolan Intense. Mongolan Intense is your double vanilla. It is saturated with lavender and you get this creamy vanilla and sandalwood in the base. To me, this is just so delicious. What I love about this perfume is that it gives off this chocolatey vibe. I received like this milk chocolatey note from here. Oh, the accords in here is just wonderful. And on the first spray, I pick up lavender. To me, this is heavily drenched in lavender. And then the vanilla starts to build up slowly and you get this creamy, intensified version of Mongolan. So those are my favorite picks from Guerlain at the moment. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what are your favorite perfumes. And my darlings, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you love fragrances, lifestyle, fashion and tea. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.